So this is kind of a boring subject, so I'll keep this video short. Battery banks, or what to look for when buying a battery bank. One of the biggest things that I see people doing is buying a battery bank that is way too big when, when they only need it to charge a phone or an RX100. This was my first battery bank. It was 12,500 milliamp hours. It charged my phone five or six times, and it also took five or six hours to charge. So I'd end up not using the battery and just trying to save battery on my phone, charge my, my phone in town. Something to look for is Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. You want to make sure that it has both the input and output. A lot of companies will label their product as a smart charge device, which isn't a quick charge, just sometimes it's a little more efficient. Here's an example. This Anchor Power Core Speed 10,000 milliamp battery is advertised as a Qualcomm Quick Charge, but it can only output a quick charge to a device and it doesn't charge quickly. A good way to check and see if it's quick charge compatible is by checking in the question and answers on Amazon and seeing if anyone answers how long it took to charge. I just picked up a RAV power battery bank that's 10,000 milliamp hours. It's supposed to charge in only a couple hours. My old one that was about this capacity took over six hours to charge, and this one's supposed to take like two and a half. There are two other things to consider in order to use quick charge. Your wall adapter needs to be compatible, and so does your micro USB cable. I don't recommend picking up a 20,000 milliamp hour battery, which a lot of people are doing, that weigh like a pound, pound and a half and can charge your phone like eight, 10 times, unless you're doing like huge long routes through the mountains and you're wanting to keep your camera charged or something. Last year I picked up this 5200, 52, and this would charge my iPhone like three times, and that's really enough for almost any trail. Something I used to think that I needed was multiple charging ports in the battery, but I found that I never really charged more than one thing at once, so a single port has been sufficient. I wish they had faster charging smaller batteries. Anchor makes some like lipstick size batteries, but none of them are Qualcomm Quick Charge, so you're still sitting there waiting for a long time. Rav Power also makes a couple batteries that have a built-in charger, so that's a good option. I haven't seen any that have a built-in charger and are Qualcomm Quick Charge, which would be awesome, because that way you just charge all your stuff up before you get to a town and then leave your battery plugged in and don't have to worry about sitting by an outlet but yeah, check out, check out the links down below if you're searching for a battery.